Hey watchers, uh, it's me Kumar again. Uh, welcome to this Maven tutorial. So today I'm going to talk about you know some more things in the Maven team like you know how generating a reports using Maven project and uh, capturing a screenshots uh, using Maven and uh, you know one more thing I'm going to talk about very important thing is a Maven life cycle. Okay, these are the things I'm going to be discuss today. So in the previous things we already covered about creating a Maven project. We created a Maven project called uh, something let's say uh maven selenium is a project it might be contain a first test second test along with the pom.xml that's something we have it okay we added this selenium jar files like you know org test and something like this right now let me go for this next level concept team now i'm going to be creating again uh, one more project here maven complete maven something like this so selecting a new project create a simple maven project team here I want to cover today uh, reports and all the other stuff, whatever so far we have seen. Com dot Durgasoft dot Selenium, okay, and uh, Maven Tutorials, something like this. My product name is Maven Tutorial. Click on Finish. The product is created. Team. Now, when the product is created, first step we have to do is we need to add a dependencies. We have to add a dependencies of the project. So for that is the purpose, team. Let's come to here and add a dependencies tag here. Inside the dependencies, you need to come up with all the dependencies. My first dependency for Selenium is Selenium a Java dependency. Maven Selenium dependency. Second thing is TestNG dependency. Right, uh, TestNG dependency, Maven TestNG dependency. Then third step is team, if you want to generate a reports, we need to add all the jar files, right? Like report ng, velocity, goose, all the jar files. Let me add all the jar files now. Maven goose dependency. Okay, so here we have a Maven goose dependency third one and next we have is a maven velocity dependency so deep uh, maven velocity dependencies just give me a second yes 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 then uh, Maven report ng dependency. We added a goose and we want to add a velocity along with we need to add Maven report ng dependency as well. So report ng Maven report ng dependency. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now added all the jar files team. Let's come to the program now okay i'm going to be creating a uh, first thing is a test ng class team here uh, my first class name is something let's say first test dot xml test ng something let's say okay first of all we need to create a package something let's say com dot test and my first test name is something let's say first test and my uh, test suit dot xml the package must be specified okay it's it's not it's not a package name sorry uh, let's select this copy and something paste it here and click on the finish the suit xml waiting for focus just give me a second team it's just give me a second otherwise let me create a package in a hard coded way right click new package com dot test here i'm gonna be creating a test ng class here right click new other select a test ng class click on next first test is my class name uh, my automation suit dot xml finish the product is created okay along with the class and uh, xml file name now let me maintain a few cases team here i just want to add first public mm, okay let me first document here web driver 
driver equals to new firefox driver let me uh, expand this my use case is team i want to take two to three new test cases for these three test cases i want to do the parallel test execution on multiple browsers and generate a report if any of the test cases fail i want to capture the screenshots now i want to cover all the framework stuff team for that i'm going to be documenting first test case here you just added see web driver i'm importing here test case one uh, firefox driver importing it second thing is driver dot get http colon slash slash www dot google dot co dot in so my first test case is team here test case first is enter data on the google search box google search box okay for that the command is something i'm going to provide driver dot find element by dot name equals to q dot send keys selenium okay now my second test case is team here at the right test public void tc2 try to understand him i'm going to be cover all the framework related stuff now click on enter option click on enter option if i want to click on the enter option team i'll come here driver dot see i'm not getting any options team. you might notice this the reason is team here whatever the driver variable i've defined it's a local variable it's defined in the inside the method so local variables are not visible to the outside of the method right that is the reason it's not getting it so i want to make sure that this should be on this should be on class level something like this i'm going to maintain as a public because i want to use across my project public web driver driver remove this drive web driver from here now see here team you will be getting an access driver dot see here find element by dot the google search box property name is something say q dot send keys keys dot enter is a second option team keys dot enter is a second option now my another test case is team after entering a selenium here let's close this sorry after entering a selenium on the google search box google search box I want to click on some download selenium this link okay inspect element of the firebug this is what happening on the third level download selenium link okay copy this one this is a third test case team here so I'm going to be documenting another test case now okay that is something known as a class second test second test okay so now same thing team at the right test public void tc3 okay my tc3 is uh, so I just wanted to document here click on download selenium link this is what my third test case okay so let me add now uh, import uh, test from org test ng annotations here okay now again see team driver dot I am not getting any options here the reason is team so driver I have created in the first test class whatever the driver i have created i want to use the same driver in second test so how can i get team i need to make this driver as a static if i make this as a static team this is visible to the across the project i'm going to be use it now static variables we can access with the help of a class name now come here team you can take now directly first test dot driver dot now see here find element by dot link text equals to something download selenium dot click okay so i'm going to be come to the second class i need to wait for some time three dot sleep uh, something 2000 seconds that's it this is what my three test cases i have team in my hand i have a three test case in my hand okay now let's come to this uh, class i want to do the parallel test execution if i want to do the parallel test execution team first of all what i need to do i need to come here at the right before before class i'm going to be launching the browser somewhere public void launch browser public void launch browser at the right parameters you already know all the stuff i'm going to be creating a s browser is the variable name whatever the browser i have created i'm going to be calling the same thing string s browser okay if s browser dot equals ignore case is a firefox then i want to document in firefox stream directly driver equals to driver equals to new firefox 
Firefox driver. Driver equation new Firefox driver. Okay, I don't want to do launch here in the test case level. Okay. Second, else if I'm doing you know cross border execution on Steam, don't get confused here. You already know about all these things. Okay. Equals ignore case we covered in the previous classes. Uh, if this Chrome, then I want to launch it in a Chrome browser. Driver equals to new Chrome driver. Okay, and I want to go for system dot set property. We need to set a key and value team. You already know this. So web driver dot Chrome dot driver driver dot Chrome or Chrome dot driver something. I have a team. I'm not sure whatever we have it. And we need to set a driver Chrome driver dot exe path. Let me take that Chrome driver exe path where it is. Jars inside the jars. I have a Chrome driver. This is what I have the path. Copy the path. Right slash slash Chrome driver dot exe. Let's copy this. Okay, uh, Chrome driver dot exe. Okay, so we launched the browser in the two areas team here. One is on a Firefox, other one is a Chrome. Let me make sure maximize this one so that you get a clear visibility of this code. You have a proper idea on this. Now see. Okay, I don't want to launch the browser here. I just want to take the code from here and I'll give and be maintained on the before class annotation. That's all the first test case is done. This is the before class parameter, first test case, second test case, and third test case in some other file. Okay, now come to the XML file. Here, this is what my first test. I'm going to be taking a second test, something known as a Chrome test. You already know. This is the first Firefox test and this is a Chrome test. Okay, and you're going to be maintaining the parallel equals to test here. I'm going to be creating a new parameter that's something known as inside the test. I'm going to be creating a parameter. My parameter, because if I maintain as a parameter inside the test, that's visible to only that specific test. It's not applicable for all the tests. Value equals to Firefox. Okay, so close the parameter. I take the same parameter. You can apply in the Chrome test and apply the Chrome as a value as a Chrome here. value as a Chrome. Now we're done with this. Parallel test execution. Okay. It will be launched the two browsers. It will be launched the two browsers. It will execute all the test cases. Let me run it now. I'm going to be selecting my test automation suit XML. Right click test ng suit. See here it started the first Chrome. It will be launched it. See four runs. It's done with the Chrome. We're done with the Firefox. Okay, we entered the Selenium Selenium twice on the same thing. Okay, let me let me verify this. Just give me a second thing. Com dot first is we noted I'll added the third test concept. Class name. Second test also we have to add him here. Second test. We added all the classes. What are the classes we want to execute it now? Okay, first test, second test is browser value Chrome. See, it's me. Firefox, Firefox. Okay, perfect. Let's come to the path here. Mm, first test, what are the maintain team here? Mm. Like static driver. First is a browser equals driver equals new chrome dot driver. I'll maintain here itself and I'll be maintain here itself. No need to worry about it team. Nothing in this. Test case one, test case two, test case three. Let me run the program again. Let me close all the stuff. Yeah, done with this. May automation test suit right click and as test ng suit. So see team. You might notice this it done with the Chrome and it might be done with the even Firefox as well. What are the cases we expected? It's click on the event downloads link as well. Okay. But for these test cases, now I am expecting to 
if any of the test case is failure i want to capture a screenshot maybe i'll close it now i want to capture a screenshot okay for capturing a screenshot team what we need to do we already cover this example in the test ng tutorials team you just need to take a one custom listener class right right click class custom listener okay custom listener so inside the class you just need to extends test listener adapter right extends test listener adapter okay you need to override few of the functions called uh, on test failure something like this on test failure this is the function we override it okay let me capture this and on test success as well i'm overriding another function team on test success i believe on test success yes third one is exactly okay so if any of my test case is passed i want to print system dot out dot print ln test case pass which one i want to print it i want to print tr dot get name my test case name also i want to print it so if any of my test case is fail i want to capture a screenshot for capturing a screenshot what was the code we have team capture a screenshot come to this google and we already have a code capture screenshot for using web driver okay so team i'm going to be covering complete the framework level now i'm going to be taking three classes for the three classes i'm generating a reports i'm doing the parallel test execution as well as i'm covering if any of the test cases fail capturing a screenshot don't get confused try to follow up all the things i'm managing all the stuff team now okay so like i'm going to be first importing the file from java ivo package take a screenshot is a web driver api file utils org apache commons ivo okay and that's all team okay output type file you need to select it and the driver we are getting as a file first test driver something we need to put it first test dot driver because the static variable we are calling with the class name and where i want to capture my screenshots if i capture my screenshot in the temporary location team c colon temp is the folder i'm going to be creating a one folder here right let me provide the path c colon temp okay and always my screenshot name should be test case name team that's something very very important always my screenshot name should be test case name tr dot get name okay dot png that's it this is all about team now let me uh, forcefully i'm making my test case as a failure here every test case i'm forcefully making as a test case failure because i want to capture the screenshots but that is the reason let's come to the first test inside the first test i'm going to be applying some verification point here that's something known as assert assert dot assert equals actually is high expert i'm something i'm providing as a test here hello both are not at all equal team it's a hypothetical situation the test case will be failure and first test case also i'm failing you know i'm forcefully making as a failure and second test also i'm forcefully making as a failure here every test i'm forcefully making as a failure team okay my all the test cases got to failure now let me run from here itself right click run as test ng suit it's launching the chrome it execute all the stuff so for every test case is failure it will be captured the screenshot and it will be stored in temporary temp folder team let me run it just be with me six run six failures and you might notice this where is my temp folder here so it should be capture a screenshot team yes we not at all register this custom listener in the test and xml file team we left it one important point that is the reason we we missed this let me add a listener tag now we already added a listener tag let me add it mm. google we need to register our listener in the xml file team otherwise it will not at all right it will be not at all generate a capture the screenshot report this report in the listeners listeners code 
let me add it report in the listeners code you already know right this is for generating a reports we already added a reports as well let me copy this in the next xml file i'm going to be pasting it in my automation suit xml listeners I, I want to add one more listener team here that's something known as a listeners class and my class name is com.test along with custom listener dot java something like this com dot test custom listener that's it custom listener okay we added successfully all the stuff team let me run it again i'm closing this closing okay so now we added listener stack team in the reporting code so it will be generated the reports and it is captured the screenshot as well let me copy right click run as test ng suit it's launched in the browser on the chrome and it's launched in the browser on the firefox it's forcefully make all the test cases got failures on the top of the suits i have added listener score team the reason is it should be applicable for all the tests not a single test it should be applicable for all the tests okay so it's taking a while still just be with me team kind of my internet connection is uh, very bad just be with me still loading it let me let me cancel it let me run it otherwise my automation set as suit dot xml inside the listeners we added below the listeners only we provided properly yes mm -hmm. so everything is as expected let me run it team so it's executed six got failure let's go for this uh, tempo folder team you might notice this screenshots so see here test case one test case two test case three on the both brothers we have a screenshot is a failure team okay so if you want to execute six test case expected you need to set a priority for the threats team okay this is what something you know uh, let me zoom it you will get a clear picture here we forcefully made three test cases as a failure that is the reason you know the capture the screenshot something like this okay so hope you clear team this is how we are capturing a screenshot now i executed team next time i want to you know make two test cases pass one of the test cases is a failure so i'll come here here also i'm making as a high and here also i'm making as a high now only my third test case is a failure team so this time i'm expecting only only one screenshot but let's see happening because i am forcefully making two test cases failure only one is a fail uh, two test cases pass one is a failure let's see what will be happen if i execute this let me run it okay okay then selecting again my automation test suit xml right click run as test ng suit selenium so see team this time i'm expecting only see yeah, six runs test case one is passed test case two is passed only test case three is failure here but you might notice this when i go for this folder team they again still have a screenshot for even failure you know pass the test case as well why it is captured because it's a earlier execution 
what we are expecting is whenever you want to execute you need to clean all the folder temp folder and whatever the screenshot you have for the failure test cases those test cases you are expecting to capture but in this case team here it is capturing even previous test case as well it's still available what we want to do we need to delete the all the test cases and run it this is not a really good practice team every time it should be automatically clean so we have a target folder in the maven so whatever we have in the target folder team this target folder has a special life cycle when you say maven clean is the command it will be automatically clean everything on the maven target folder you just need to say maven clean that's it it will be automatically clean everything in the target folder team now see here i'm going to be applying this maven you know uh, target folder here i'm going to be providing the class path as a inside this target folder pom.xml mm -hmm. right click right, let's say right click target folder maven tutorial and the target is the path copy dot dot slash slash maven tutorial target is the path inside the target we are expecting a screenshot now if i run this program you might notice this it is a capture the screenshots in the target folder i am expecting it should be capture the screenshot in the target folder let's run it it executed the disk on the firefox browser and chrome browser it's entered the data the twice it's got entered team maybe because of the thread issues we have it if you do this parallel execution team sometimes you might be have a threads issues so it's always very very important you need to set a prior to the threads i done this now you just refresh your maven tutorial folder right click uh, run as something refresh you have a target inside the target see here you have a test case test case 3 so you have a test case now if you say kind of pom.xml before you executes run as maven clean if you say maven clean team automatically whatever you have in the target folder complete target folder will be clear you just be done with the project now let's say refresh here see target is an again empty now there is nothing in this now you can execute again through maven test but if you execute a maven test team it's not at all like generate the reports it's not at all doing the parallel test execution when you run as a maven test it is not at all doing the parallel test execution it is not at all capture the screenshots it's simply doing on the normal browser the reason behind this team parallel test execution capturing the screenshots generating a reports all these things we maintained in the test ng xml but we ran with the directly on the pomlet xml so that is the reason it's not at all executing okay if you go with the test ng xml team we have a few benefits the what are the benefits we have team we will be capturing screenshot for failure test cases we can generate a reports and we do the test suite execution and you know we do the parallel test execution all these are the benefits if you go with the pom.xml what are the benefits we have it if you say pom.xml if you clean the project you can happily clean it if you want to execute something in a maven test you can execute that stuff as well it has a special life cycle team there is a two independent pieces here one is a test ng xml other one is a pom.xml what we need to do is we need to call a test ng xml in the pom.xml then you will get to see the magic team the beauty of the framework you will get it okay so how can i call the test ng xml in the pom.xml let me run it i'll show you we just need to add a one plugin team in the test ng xml that's all the stuff you have to do it let me add a plugin google let me let me show you enough kind of and have internet bad in the call test ng xml in the pom dot xml let me browse it okay so we have a some kind of you know stack workflow stats here mm -hmm. Just need to add a business code team here. Build business code. It's pretty simple. Calling test ng xml in the pom dot xml. So we already have the code, I believe. So see here, this is the code we have it. Okay, you just need to copy up to the build. Okay, you just need to copy up to the build. Okay, after the dependencies, after the dependency on the pom dot xml, after the dependency on the pom dot xml, you just come here 
and execute your suit what is your suit test and xml but my suit name is my automation search shoes and it was in resources folder let me drag the file into resources folder test resources folder now it is in my resources folder okay and file name could be something let's say my automation suit dot xml copy my automation suit dot xml now if you run with this maven test right click form dot xml run as a maven test it will be execute all the stuff team it's doing the parallel test execution it's do the it generate the reports and it's capture the screenshot for failure test case everything see here it's launching this it's launching the event firefox as well done so see here how many build is a failure the third task is a failure that is the reason you just need to come here you just refresh your project refresh the project now see under the target you have a screenshot under the target only we have a surfer reports under the surfer reports you have a reports team html folder see this is what your reports open with the web browser okay when you next time you want to do team what you have to do is you can come to the command prompt you can execute these cases not only from the eclipse you can execute from the even command prompt as well where is your project my project is d drive durga soft something you know maven is my project name cd space the soft maven cd space maven test is my project or what maven test not it's not a maven test maven tutorials what is my project let's let's let me check it yes it's a maven tutorial the soft maven dir so whatever we have we just have only maven test then where is the maven tutorials folder mm. right click properties it was in sorry durga soft workspace okay so cd dot dot durga soft cd space let me clear all these things team okay let me launch a new thing cmd d drive cd space durga soft cd space uh, maven test tutorial so now you say simply maven clean team when you say maven clean it will be clean all the stuff it will be clean all the stuff team so complete it was clean now you just refresh your folder nothing you have in the target folder see nothing you have in the target folder it's got clean and if you want to execute now team then you say mvn it will be automatically execute your all your test cases team okay it will execute all your test cases and as i told you team maven has a special life cycle if you want to clean every time whenever you want to execute your automation suit you are expecting to you need to clean the stuff and execute it then you can call all the steps in only one step it was pretty easy process i'll explain you how can you do that see it tells you the results done the execution so tick test got executed two is the failure and we capture the screenshot let's come here team in the clips folder you just refresh it right click refresh you might be see capture the screenshot and generate the reports and if you want to execute the steps automatically team you just need to come here in the clips maven clean and test it will be clean and it will be execute your test cases as well this is a life cycle we have team step by step process maven clean test first it will be clean then it will be execute the test cases okay so 
so this is something we see in team now uh, so far we have uh, created a maven project we added a dependencies we added a plugins we are done with the parallel test execution we generate the reports and we capture the screenshots and one more important point of the test you know maven team if you want to do the continuous integration testing that's something we can with the help of only maven only it's possible it's not only a maven if you have a build management tools it could be pretty easy to do the continuous integration testing so what is mean by continuous integration testing team you want to execute your test cases in certain point of time every day or every week or whatever the use case you have it see basically we are into the agile world now in the agile world we have a nightly build concept every night the build is deployed in your environment team when you come to the office you want to execute your all automation suit so it's a kind of you know we are wasting the time you know they deploy the build in night and we will come to the morning in the you know morning and we are executing a suit so instead of that we are expecting whenever the build is committed to the you know, whenever the build is moved to the qa and in certain point of time you want to execute your automation suit that's something we can at the help of you know maven team it could be pretty easy i'll explain you how you do this with the help of jenkins it's possible team point number one other one is we have a some kind of schedulers concept by using schedulers also we can do that let me explain you how you do that schedulers it was a pretty easy concept team let's kill all these things okay already i have a some kind of you know uh notepad here let me take this you just need to set the project path theme that's it okay so instead of this you just need to create a one file here one new file my new file is something let's say durgasoft i'm creating one notepad team here with the help of schedulers i want to execute certain time of time okay so instead of the path you know i'm going to be taking this where is my path team so it was in durgasoft Maven tutorials is the path. Let's copy the path. We paste the path here directly instead of uh, setting from here to here. I'm setting the path directly here. Okay. Let's 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 move it, team. Let me maximize this one. Where it is? I have I have this is something gone. Okay, I'll come here. I'll copy the path. I'm pasting here. Okay, this is what the path name. You need to set it. Okay, you just need to create a one normal bat file inside the bat file team. You just need to call echo on is the command. Then set the project path the D drive where you have a project and call this clean function and call the test function. That's it. Okay, you just saved it team as a dot. bat file it's not a something like this forget to say you need to save as a dot bat file all files durga soft dot bat file team that's it you can save it i'm saving on the desktop so this bat file got saved team now see here you just run the bat file team it will be automatically execute the clean function call maven clean it will be clean it then it will be execute your test cases it will be execute your test cases now this bat file you need to deploy in the scheduler if you deploy the bat file in the scheduler team in the specific time it will be execute your all automation test cases every day you want execute my test case in 6 pm you have a requirement something like this you can just maintain the all your cases in the bat file you just deploy the bat file in the scheduler scheduler will take care of all these things okay let me show you now how you deploy this bat file in the scheduler team Okay uh we we created a one bat file let's copy this stuff okay so you have to create a one normal text file team that is saved to the dot file let me let me close this one sorry i just want to show you now how can we document this this is the commands you need to call follow team echo on is the command because you want to call it and set the project path and what are the test you need to call it in the maven i want to call first clean function then test function that's it you just need to go here and you want to deploy this in the schedulers what you have to do is go to command prompt uh, run control panel from the control panel team you have a administrative tools from the administrative tools you have a task scheduler you can come to the task scheduler from the task scheduler team you just need to create a one basic task you just need to create a one basic task team it takes a while for first time just be with me create a basic task that's it create a basic task 
at what time you want to create and you know every day what time you want to execute it you need to set it team that's pretty easy process create a basic task my basic task is my automation test shoot testing that's it okay description something high click on the next at what time you want to trigger every day you want to trigger yes every day i want to trigger or weekly you want to trigger yes you can trigger in the weekly or monthly whatever it is i'm selecting as a daily now so at what time you want to execute i just want to set the some time team okay something you know one hour later and click on next start a program and where you have a bat file may have a bat file in the durga soft something i have a durga soft dot bat that's it you just select the bat file team okay and you don't want to supply anything team you just need to click on the next something you just need to click on the finish team when you say finish automatically in the 124 after 1 hour it will be automatically launch the command prompt it will be clean the process it will be execute the test case every day on the specified time in the online you know this online you know video training team i am forcefully not able to show this concepts but if you try in your machines you capable to get it okay so we done with this today generating complete the maven tutorial team whatever we are doing in you know in terms of selenium automation framework whatever we done in the maven we covered all those things like maven installation executing test cases organize the dependencies importing the project into eclipse doing the parallel test execution using maven adding you know adding the plugins and we do the continuous integration testing as well this is almost we covered team so if you have any question team don't you know hesitate to ask me the questions feel free to post me the any questions okay hope you done with this class thank you thank you so much